Around 3100 BCE, the elite of ancient Egypt built trapezoidal structures made of mud bricks, called mastabas, to bury their deceased loved ones. When someone died, a vertical shaft was dug from the roof down to the tomb. After placing the body inside, the shaft was filled with mud and stones to keep the tomb secure. However, for kings, ordinary mastabas were not sufficient. To display power and grandeur, they required even more magnificent tombs. Therefore, craftsmen built large mastabas that covered vast underground areas. Then, to further enhance security, new layers were constructed on top of the mastabas. This innovation gave birth to the world's first pyramid, the Pyramid of Djoser. Later, the kings realized that if the steps of the step pyramid were filled with stones, an even more perfect pyramid could be created. In the first attempt, its inclination reached 54 degrees, but the structure became so unstable that there was a risk of collapse. Out of necessity, the craftsmen had to reduce the angle of the upper part, thus creating the unique bent pyramid. A century later, the famous King Khufu learned from the mistakes of his predecessors and optimized the pyramid's inclination to 51 degrees. Using 2.3 million massive stones, he constructed the 147-meter-high Pyramid of Khufu. For enhanced security, the entrance was placed 18 meters above the ground, and the tomb was located at the exact center of the pyramid. Even today, the Great Pyramid of Giza amazes the world with its precision and grandeur. Each stone used in its construction is as heavy as the trunk of a large tree. Its orientation is perfectly aligned with north, south, east, and west, and the difference in the lengths of its four sides is only two millimeters. Such extraordinary craftsmanship raises a profound question. Did the ancient Egyptians truly build these pyramids themselves?